Here we're going to look at ratios, proportions, and rates. So first we're going to look at distance equals rate times time. Okay, so in this case, they'll always give you two of them. Like they'll give you distance and rate, but not time or one of the others. So in this question, it says 280 miles Two hundred eighty miles in four hours, and then it says how long to drive six hundred and thirty miles. Okay, so how do we do this? All right, so they're giving us this distance here, which is six thirty. They're asking. Is that how long to drive 630 miles, right? So we don't know time, right? That's a big question. And then what is the rate, okay? So they've given us enough information to find the rate. And this is always assuming like the same speed throughout unless they explicitly state that, that's what they're saying. So I went 280 miles in four hours, right? 280 divided by four equals a rate of 70 miles per hour, 70 times four is 280, okay? So given that, put that one right in here, 70 T, right? Okay, and now we have enough to solve. We'll go ahead and get that little math out of the way. We can solve this thing, okay? Okay, so we divided each side by 70 and time equals nine hours, right? And if you didn't know, um, so like when I have a zero here and a zero here, I can cross those out, right? And then just 63 divided by seven, which equals nine. Anyway, that's our answer there, nine hours. So you will see some distance equals rate times time type questions, also just called distance questions, right? Gotta be able to do stuff like that. Like that would be a pretty hard one. Um, on the test. Um, okay, like so proportions, right? So in this question, we have in a classroom or in any room really, 10 males, 15 females. Okay, and then what is the proportion of males to females? Okay, so as we're looking at this, and they're going to want you to reduce it. All right, so we got 10 males, 15 females. Uh, and so if I divide each of these by five, right? So we have 10 over 15. Divide top and bottom by five, we get two out of three, right? So males to females would be two to three, something like that, okay? Now, what if it said, and this is where you gotta make sure you read the questions carefully, it's a big deal in test taking and probably math even more so in particular. Um, so what if it's 10 males, 15 females, and what if it said what's the ratio of males to everybody? So it's not still gonna be that two to three, right? If it's 10 males to everybody, right? Including, that includes males, 10 plus 15 is 25. That would be a ratio of 10 to 25. And again, they will want you to reduce, almost for sure. So 10 over 25, how can I reduce that, right? I gotta be able to divide something by the top and also by the bottom, numerator and denominator. Uh, five looks like a good number. And that equals two fifths. So the ratio of males to everybody is two to five. That's how you do that. So when you're trying to reduce these, if it's not obvious to you what you should divide the top and the bottom by, start with two and work your way up, right? So when I looked at 10 divided by two, okay, uh, that works evenly, right? 10 divided by two is five, but 25, no, doesn't work. Uh, three doesn't work for either of them. Four doesn't work for either of them. Five, 10 divided by five, two. 25 divided by five is five. And so that's how I decided that was the number to go with. Okay. So 
and out of the proportions, and uh, you'll definitely see some proportion questions. Um, okay, so here's another males and females in a class question. Two times as many males as females. Okay, I have twice as many males and females in a room or in a class. 60 people total. How many males and how many females are in this class? Okay, so perhaps you can eyeball this and get it right, but most people can't. Um, and so what we're looking at is males are going to be represented by 2x because they're twice as many as females, right? Females are going to be rep represented by just x. And that's 60 or total. Okay, and then we just add this up. All right, so like 3x equals 60, divide, divide, x is 20. Okay, and then remember how we set this up. We said the females were x and 2x was males, right? So 2x equals 40, right? Because 2 times 20 is 40. So that's males, females, right? And then check to make sure what we did adds up and makes sense, right? 20 plus 40 is 60, so that looks good. Uh, 40 is twice as much as 20. That also looks good. And then we know we have the right answer. Okay, so what, just to make sure we got this concept here, um, this is important. These are fairly tough examples, right? Um, it's a horribly drawn three, right? So what if it was three times as many males as females? Well, we'd know what to do then. Same thing, right? So now it'd be 3x plus x. 60, right? Because three males are represented by three times. Females still are just the x. 4x equals 60 divided by 4 on each side. x equals 15. Okay. Uh, and again, x, that would be females, right? And so if you're trying to find males, males are going to be 3x. 3 times 15, 45. And see if that works out. Um, 45 plus 15 is 60. That's our total up here. Um, 15 times 3 is 45. So we got 3 times as many males as females. Everything works out. We're ready to go.